Okay, one more video. This is um, basically to show you how to use typography and also where to get how to get text from uh, either a file on your computer or from the internet. So it actually looks very similar to loading a, um, an image. So uh, I'll first just put our setup function here and I'll give it a draw loop. And basically just like we would have a P image before, we have a P font. And I assume P stands for processing. I don't know. So I'm just going to call this my font. I called that picture before with uh, my P image. And um, I'm going to do the same thing I usually do, which is create some size for the canvas. I'll give it a background of white. And um, then I'm going to um, basically go back to this variable that I created and load a font into it. So just like load image, there's a load font. And in here is where we would normally put the name of the image file. Here we need a name of a font file. So the way we do this is we go to the Tools menu and hit Create Font, and actually choose a font from this list. And uh, there are a couple things to know. One is that once you, what it's doing is it's making a bitmap image of a font. So if I say I want it at size 48, that's probably the size that I should use in processing. If in processing I try and show it bigger than that, it's going to get pixelated. So uh, you can also choose all characters if you want to include weird punctuation and stuff. I'm going to copy this file name to the clipboard. That's the file that it's going to put into my sketch folder with a .blw at the end. Um, and right now it's created the file. And if I look in my, uh, if I go to sketch and show sketch folder, I can see it under data. There it is. So if I ever forgot the name, I could look it up there. So I'm going to put the name of the font file, and it's .blw. And then here in the draw loop, I'm going to actually write something. And the uh, first thing I have to do is set the font using uh, the font, that I, font variable I just set up. And then I can use the text function to uh, actually put something on the screen. I'll put it in the middle of the screen, or in the middle of the canvas. And this should be working. Let's see. Okay, nothing. So I think the problem is that we have to give it some fill color. Normally, uh, and this is because I used a background of white. I think the fill is normally white. So um, fill is just like when we had a rectangle. That was the the color that it gets filled up filled up with. And uh, we're gonna use the same thing here for the font. So there it is. It looks really raggedy, and it looks in fact like it's getting worse. The reason for that is because the draw loop is drawing over it and over it and over it. So I'm going to use the no loop function that I had uh, that I used before, so that basically it only draws what's in here once, and it should look a lot better this time. There you go. If I try and uh, make the um, width and height of the actual text bigger using uh, the third and or the fourth and fifth optional arguments, it'll start to look kind of bad. So maybe I actually have a couple different sizes that I create. Um, before I even start. So um, I can also show you something here if I use this rotate that we used already and rotate it some random amount uh, you'll see that this also uh, I rotated it off the screen. Let me run it again. Eh, well you can't see it but uh, I think it's, it's off the canvas but basically it looks bad. So if you try and rotate it and show it at an angle it looks bad too. So it could be that the best thing you could do is uh, instead make it into like a PNG file or put it in a PDF. We can load any of those types of images or um, vector uh, information also. So fonts are a little bit restrictive. You really have to use it at the size that you created the font, but there are other ways to do it. So um, let's do one more video to show you uh, what I didn't get to in this one, which is where you get text from instead of actually putting it in quotes here.